Hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to Sakura Angels. We will be continuing where we left off when the evil lady appeared, the stinky whammon from the underbellies of heck. So, without further ado, let's just fly back into it with our wings. Alright, time to load up where we left off. Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, her name was Obsidian. I forgot that. Obsidian wings on four... Oh wait, never mind, that's not her name. <laughs> That was just describing what her wings look like. Got it. Silly me. Obsidian wings unfurl from amidst the night sky, and the amber-eyed adversary from before makes her presence known in a storm of black feathers. What was her name? Yeah, what was her name? I don't remember. Was her name Yazuki? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Names mean nothing right now, right? <laughs> We're just gonna die anyways. She has a maniacal look in her eye... <laughs> A <laughs> killer glint. Much like before, she isn't here to play around. Aw, oh, darn. She looks kind of cute. There's only one thing she's after. Me. Okay. I'm into it. <laughs> what was that transition? That was so bizarre. Light floods and dispels the darkness for only a moment as the pair don their battle gear. Weapons at hand. Kenta, get back. Right, right. Okay. I know how this works, okay? Not needing to be told twice, I sprint a good distance from the three girls as to not get caught up in any crossfire. But, are they going to be able to win? Yuzuki hardly broke a sweat last night and was able to keep both of them at bay one at once with the scythe of hers. Oh boy, the difference in power was just too much. Not to mention my guardians have some serious issues with working together as a team. Last night was a complete disaster. I fear we might have to take another tactical retreat, and I'm not sure if I have the stomach for it. Yuzuki lands gracefully before Sayaka and Hikari, an unsettling grin spreading from ear to ear on her face. I've got... I've got, I've got to say, I'm surprised you even want to fight. I thought you might just turn tail again. I suppose things are more fun this way. Her dark wings erupt into a stream of feathers, which reform into a deadly scythe within her hands. Gosh dang it. Now, which one of you wants to die a miserable, miserable death first? Me! Why are the bad guys always the thickest? Hikari! Hikari, now! Whoa, she stabbed her in the butt! Hikari nods and lunges for Yuzu <laughs> Yuzuki <laughs> before she can make the first move. Sayaka kicks off the ground and flies a good deal backwards as she readies an arrow in her, in her bow. Am I witnessing team play here? It certainly makes a change after last night's disaster. It's all useless. Yuzuki reacts like, light reacts like lightning and brings her scythe to a whirl, clashing with Hikari's sword. A shockwave bursts through the street as the two weapons collide, shattering nearby glass and warping street signs, a testament to just how strong these women are. I'm beginning to see shades of last night's fight. Yuzuki has the advantage in terms of brute strength, so she'll no doubt push back against Hikari's blade. But Hikari doesn't seem nervous at all. In fact, she seems confident. <laughs> Light, come forth! <gasps> Whoa, I love the light. It helps me see with my eyes. Hikari stands her ground in a clash with gritted teeth, and her sword gives off a vibrant glow at her command. A glow that continues to intensify until it engulfs the clashing pair in a blinding light. I'm forced to shield my eyes with my arm, as if I were staring at the sun itself. If it was bad enough for me to, at this distance, I can't imagine how bad it must have been for both of them. It's so bright! It's white, like me! Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, look at the evil the evil whammon now. She looks kind of scared. From the safety of my sleeve, I peer back out at the battle, the light fading slightly. It seems Yuzuki wasn't expecting that at all, as she's reeling back from it all, her ha a hand to her face. <laughs> what do you think you're playing at? Whoa, look at that! Whoa! Oh, whoops. My bad. <laughs> I always do that. And Hikari Duck! 
Siaka lets loose the arrow she'd been charging since the pair and had clashed. It rockets off with unreal speed, leaving a trail of glimmering sparks in its wake as it homes on Yuzuki. Hikari pulls back at Sayaka's voice, and ducks just barely to avoid the arrow coming her way. Whoa! It's a direct hit. The arrow bursts upon impact and sends Yuzuki skidding backwards as she desperately tries to keep upright. It doesn't end there, though. Hikari hops to her feet and charges in for a follow-up attack whilst Yuzuki is trying her best to recover from the arrow. Whoa, look at that! Hikari, you could use a little bit uh, longer angel dress, but that's okay. Uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Steel sings as Hikari kicks off the ground and goes for a crushing blow to the head. This should be it. I can't see how she'll escape from Hikari's blade now. It's over! The ground under my feet gives off a quake as she lands. A good half of the road splits under her blade and chunks of concrete rain went everywhere. It was a devastating attack to be sure. Surely no one could have survived a blow like that, but... Uh, Nani. Nani? Hikari was just as bewildered as I am. The dark girl is nowhere to be seen. A single black feather drifts from down from where she once stood. Oh, she flew off. Stinky whammon, always being afraid of me. She just... vanished. A sinister giggle echoes from the shadows. Gosh dang it, she got away. Did Yuzuki teleport? Or is she just so fast I couldn't keep up? Teleports behind you. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Hikari bolts up at the sound and shoots Sayaka a frenzied look. Sayaka, let's see Sayaka, look out! Something glimmers from out of the darkness behind her, and then lashes out with a vicious swing. Sayaka just barely reacts in time, jumping to avoid the fatal slash. At least, I thought she had avoided it. Yeah! No! Uh, Kia, okay, jeez. There's a sudden burst, and Sayaka lets out a shriek. Uh, her she herself looks unharmed, but a good portion of her outfit is in tatters. Wow, that's convenient. Fragments of what used to be her outfit rained down from above well and truly, truly diced by the mad girl's scythe. I mean, it's horrible. There's hardly anything left of her outfit. Oh, yes, it's horrible. Oh, <laughs> dang it. I mean, it's horrible. There's hardly anything left of her outfit. From what I'm standing, I can practically see... Huh? I lost track of what I was thinking about there. Yeah, wow. Um, you're about to die and all you could think about is thick anime girl booty. Good job. Sorry. <clears throat> Fight bad. Damage terrible. Okay, I'm back on track. This is insane. If she had <laughs> reacted just as a fraction of a second slower, her outfit would have been the only thing <laughs> cut to ribbons by that attack. I thought Yuzuki seemed bad before, but if anything, tonight she seems even stronger. Or is it just all in my head? The pair learned from their mistakes the previous night and devised something almost resembling teamwork tonight to try and put an end to her, but she hits back twice as hard anyway. Sayaka and Hikari, I have given it all, give it their all, and this monster still has the upper hand. I wonder if they have any tricks left. I suppose I should put more faith in my guardian angels, even if things look dire right now. They are surely trained for these kinds of intense battles, and must have at least something to fall back on. Something that I hope doesn't involve flying again. I really, really don't want to fly again. At this point, I'll take my chances with Yuzuki. <laughs> Sayaka hugs herself in an effort to cover up, her face flushed with embarrassment. Yeah, I, f I feel kind of bad for Sayaka, like really bad. Can't imagine this being convenient at all during a fight. You don't say, especially not as serious as this. I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. But this is as <laughs> this is as important. <laughs> this is an important fight. I can't afford to take my eyes off it. Yeah, I wonder what he's looking at, or something like that. Ah, uh, this is terrible. I, I can't fight like this. Oh, what do I do? With what should be a fairly troubling scene for a partner, Hikari actually seems more annoyed than anything as she rushes over. Come on, stop screwing around. She stomps her foot and scolds her half-naked partner. That seems like a rather bizarre way to treat someone in such a state. You know dang well you can just regenerate your outfit. Huh? 
She can? So why has she been acting like... <laughs> why has she been acting like she has... Uh, this is so... Huh? Oh. Right! You could have done that before and saving me the trouble of getting demonetized? Thank you! There's another flash and her outfit is restored <laughs> to what it once was. Huh. It really was that easy. <laughs> My bad. I totally forgot. Hikari hoists her sword up onto her shoulder and lets out a sigh, a dangerous vein just faintly visible on her forehead. You know, for some twisted reason, I think a part of you wanted to show off, maybe to a certain somebody. Me? Never. Though you're one... <laughs> You're sure one to talk, accidentally leaving the door unlocked. <gasps> it was in... Oh, Sayaka knows what locks are! I went on my lock rant and she gets it. Bonk. Hikari <laughs> wraps her on the head. <laughs> what is even... Ow, I was kidding. Guys, aren't you forgetting something? I mean, it's not like you were in the middle of a fight or anything. Wait, that's a point. Yuzuki could have torn up these two while they were arguing. Where did she go after that attack? As I suddenly am realizing this fact as well, both girls jump into their serious mode as if it's even really possible and assume offensive stances once more. Did you catch where she went to? Why did I even ask? I'm beginning to grow uneasy. I instinctively throw a glance over my shoulder, only to be met with a maniacal smile. Bah. <laughs> ah! Boo! Huh, huh. Whew, I thought that said boob. You! She's right behind me. How did she manage that? Well, it's not like you were staring at Sayaka or anything. Uh, then again, I guess it probably wasn't that difficult of a feat with how distracted my supposed guardians can get. I stumble backwards with a gasp, just narrowly avoiding her outstretched grasp as she reaches for me with a limp. <laughs> ah, dang it. I so close as well. The dark girl winces and her shoulders sink. It seems like she barely has any strength left as she barely keeps a hold on her scythe limply at her side. Maybe the combined attack before was more effective than I thought, and it finally all caught up to her, her energy reserves well and truly spent. This was probably her last ditch attempt to get me. I'm lucky I turned around when I did. She gives me a narrowed glare as she staggers back a few steps, my bodyguards catching up to me. Amber eyes full of hatred, she shifts her gaze to Sayaka and Hikari. Looks like it's my turn to retreat for the night. Don't think you've won anything just yet. You got lucky with that cheap shot, but don't expect it to work a second time. Kenta will be mine. But don't worry. I'm not cruel enough as to part ways without leaving you something to play with until we meet again. Ladies, there's enough of me to go around. <laughs> she begins to sink back into the shadows, giving off another devious laugh despite her limping retreat. The last part of what she said worries me. Something to play with. Like heck you're going anywhere, we're going to finish the fight here and now. Ah, uh, Hikari, maybe we should. Hikari disregards her partner's advice and blazes forward, sword at ready. It seems like her blade is just to connect with Yuzuki before she can make her escape. But something suddenly whips out as if appearing out of nowhere and takes Hikari off her feet, hoisting her high into the air. A thick, slimy appendage. Uh, tentacle? Oh, gosh. No! 
Hikari drops her sword after being blindsided by the beast and is left wrestling helplessly against the writhing tendrils as they work to ensnare her. <laughs> what? Hey, no, let me go! I see her hands give off a glow. That's right. It sh <laughs> if she doesn't have a weapon, she still has her magic. She should probably be able to make quick work of this thing, sword or not. <laughs> now I'll show you, huh? Or maybe not. The beast is one step ahead of her and works to bind her hands, leaving her well and truly helpless. The tentacles creep in ever closer, oozing a pungent substance that coats a good majority of her. Ugh, this is so disgusting. I don't think all the showers in the world are going to be able to get this stuff out of my hair. Yeah, that's really nasty. She bemoans her disgust predicament as she thrashes around, ultimately only resulting in the tentacles constricting tighter against her. Okay, so she can't save herself. But her trusty partner should be able to pierce the tentacles with a well-placed arrow, right? Right? Bad doggy, sit down, stay. Wait, when did they even show up? Siaka is surrounded by a pack of those demonic dogs from before. The ones that nearly took my life. They must have charged in at the same time as the tentacle creature made itself known. Were they summoned by Yuzuki? I wonder. Wait, can she control them? <laughs> Hello, is anyone going to actually help here? This isn't as fun as it looks, you know. Hikari keeps up a brave front, but I can see the tentacles are taking their toll on her. This is bad. Both of them are held up by monsters. While Sayaka is handy with a bow, I don't, th I don't think she's that good of a close-up combat, so she might be in trouble here. And then, Hikari is clearly in need of assistance. The tentacles might completely crush her if nothing is done soon. So with both of them struggling, who's left to help them? You! Yes, me! But... I haven't ever fought anything in my life. I would have been dead long ago if these two hadn't made themselves known in my life. Wow, who's suddenly being appreciative? I clench my fist tight and throw a glance between the two girls. They risked so much to help me before, while I just stood on the sidelines, like some sort of coward. They need my help. What can I do? I don't have any magic powers. I don't have any super strength. I can't fly. I'm useless. Useless! I stomp at the ground, cursing my weak nature. Huh? Something clatters at my foot. Oh yeah, the lady left her scythe, didn't she? Hikari's sword. Oh, never mind, it's just the sword. Okay. A sizable amount of steel is that almost rivals Hikari herself in height. I crouch down to pick it up. Despite its size, it's surprisingly light. I'm able to take it up with just a single hand. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm even thinking about doing this. I straighten up and tighten my hold on the sword, giving it a test swipe in the air. It slices through without much resistance, and gives off a satisfying swish. It'll be just this easy, right? Air is one thing, but to even think about using this thing on something living, even if they're monsters, I'm just not sure if I could follow through with this. Okay, hurry up, Kenta. Jeez. Don't touch me. Back, back. It's it's crushing me. Someone help. I can hear the cries of distress from both sides. Time is running out. I've made up my mind. Yeah, hurry up. I can't save them both at once, though. Who needs help more urgently? Uh, Hikari. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to move my window. Hikari. I think it's clear that Hikari is the one in danger here. Those tentacles are pretty much squeezing the life out of her. I'm sure Sayaka has been in tougher situations before, so I feel confident in letting her handle those monsters. Hikari, hang on! I break into, an sp into a sprint and head for the writhing mass of tentacles that have laid the assault in an unfortunate <laughs> Hikari. <laughs> Stupid thing! If you hadn't caught me so off guard, I could've... She continues to kick and wriggle around in its hold. But if anything, I think she's only making the whole situation worse on herself. I come to a screeching halt as I reach the monster, sword in hand. The tentacles seem like they want nothing to do with me. 
only focus on continuing their attack on Hikari. Funny that. Okay, this should be easy. It's just like cutting away some weeds, right? Wriggling, slimy weeds. But weeds no less. I, <laughs> I steal myself as I pull back the sword. I can't hesitate any longer, or it might be too late. One clean swing is all I need to end this. So, here I go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! The sword slices through the tentacles like butter, severing them into two, relinquishing their hold on Hikari. <laughs> Oof! Oof! She lands with a sticky and slimy splash, looking somewhat dazed from the whole experience. Huh. I did it. I actually did something useful. The monster's body slinks into the shadows with a low groan. I guess it can't really do much when the majority of its tentacles are now writhing around on the ground. <laughs> Kenta! <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, here, let me help you up. I hold my free, I hold my free hand out to her with an exhausted smile. <clears throat> you don't have to. She takes a good moment to bait things in her mind, even attempting to push herself up off the ground several times only to slip back down into a puddle of... whatever the heck that monster oozed. I get the feeling she isn't used to accepting help from people. Okay, fine. Whatever. Bake it. She finally grabs hold of my hand and I hoist her up. Ugh. Her hand is coated with that foul slime. I hope this stuff washes off. Once back on her feet, she takes a good moment to recompose herself. She tries to keep an air of dignity about herself, despite being drenched in head to toe in that stuff. She surveys the scene, her eyes moving from the wriggling tentacles cast aside on the ground, before finally setting on her sword, with um, still held firmly within my grasp. Firmly grasp it in your hand! Her, her mouth opened in shock, having finally pieced together what happened. Was it you that saved me, Kenta? Why, yes it was. You're welcome. She's completely taken aback. Is it really that unbelievable that I did something useful for once? Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> ah, yeah. I hope you don't mind that I had to borrow this. I can't help but feel embarrassed about this all. I was practically like... a hero. It's a bizarre feeling. I hold out the sword towards her, still as lightweight as ever. This thing is amazing. It felt like I was swinging a feather back then. She takes it. After a few attempts <laughs> of grabbing at air, her eyes still focus intently on me. She's truly shocked here. That's fine. But how are you able to... <laughs> we should probably go save her. Um, wah, down, boy, get back! Sayaka's cries of distress cut things short. Uh, whoops. I got so caught up with saving Hikari, I'd forgotten about Sayaka completely. She's still dancing about, just barely keeping up with the rabid monsters. Hikari sighs and gives her a sword of flourish. Ugh, <sighs> this will have to wait until later. She dashes towards her partner with a burst of speed and makes a short work of the offending creatures, killing them all with one pierce slash. They erupt into smoke, which is whisked away by the night air. <laughs> She Sayaka, what were you doing playing around with these things? I could have been killed if it weren't for Kenta. Huh? huh? Kenta? <laughs> yes, I did something! Finally able to catch her breath, Sayaka gives me a puzzled look as I wander over to them. Kenta, he... well... He, he saved me. He he he. Why, yes, I did. <laughs> really? How on earth did he manage that? With my legs! She's in just as much of a state of disbelief as Hikari was. I don't know, he just picked up my sword and. Your sword, but how did he. I know, your guess is just about as good as mine. Let's just be thankful he could. 
though, or tonight might have ended up being our last. I get the feeling I'm missing something really important here. Yeah, Kenta, is there something special about you we don't know? What's so special about me using her sword? I mean, I just picked it up and swung it. No big deal, right? Hikari suddenly lights up and strikes a pose, blade at the ready. Huh? That girl, did she? Yuzuki. It looks like she got away. Gosh dang it. While we were fussing over her pals. Dang it! We were so close. She stomps her foot in frustration, the slime that no doubt oozed from between her toes giving off a squelch. Maybe it's for the best. I don't think either of us are in any condition to fight anymore. Sayaka sighs dramatically and throws her hands up in the air. She's right. I can't imagine how much worse things could have been if that girl had still been around. <laughs> how about you, Kenta? How are you holding up? Me? Let's see. I'm drenched in sweat. My heart is still thumping like crazy from the adrenaline rush. I think I might throw up. And my head feels like it might split open at any moment. I'm... I'm okay, actually. Oddly enough, I really do feel fine. Better than fine, in fact. I'm happy I could finally do something, even if it wasn't much. I'm not as much of a burden for these two. I think it's safe to say that we should call the night now, huh? Hikari peers into the darkness, still holding her solar form, uh, firmly. She seems reluctant about giving up on the fight so soon. Come on, Hikari. It's over. We won. Sayaka slaps a hand on Hikari's tense shoulder, and she loosens up. Just a little. I refuse to believe she would give up so easily. It doesn't make any sense. Didn't you see her? She was really beaten up. I think we did more damage to her than she's letting on. I'd be surprised if she even shows up tomorrow night. Maybe. Hikari finally gives up, her sword fading with a dim light. She reluctantly joins the pair of us, and we begin the journey home once more. Yay, time to go home and sleep! And with that, the chaotic fight, <laughs> the chaotic night finally comes to an end. I get to live yet another day. Yay! After tonight, I'm more grateful than ever for the existence of my guardian angels. <coughs> However, bizarre they might be at times. We part ways once we reach my house. Though, I know they'll just be a shot away if I need them, since they're no doubt camp... <laughs> they'll no doubt be camped in my garden again. I really don't understand how they don't get caught. Me either. I shut the door behind me. I'm greeted with the familiar aroma of home cooking. Safe at last. I think. At least the monsters haven't attacked me here anyway. They seem to only want to get me when I'm isolated from mostly everyone else. Let's hope things stay that way. No one else has to be dragged into this mess. I still don't even know why I'm in this situation to begin with. I join my parents at the table, the plates only just being set up. I get the same questioning looks as before, and maybe more so today because of how taxing the encounter had been on my body. I'm lucky enough to have not suffered any real damage, or at least anything noticeable at first glance, so they don't chase up any further on the matter. The usual conversations unfold, and once more it becomes my turn to talk about my day. I can only let out an awkward laugh and say it was the same as any other day. I wonder how they'd react if I told them there are two complete strangers potentially camping in our backyard. <laughs> they'd be okay with it, right? The peaceful, relaxing dinner comes to an end. Much like last night, make myself scarce and drag myself up to my room, wanting nothing more than to collapse onto my bed for a good several days. Thankfully, it's the weekend tomorrow, at least, so there's no worry about having to get up too early. But I get the feeling with those two girls around, I'm not going to be able to get much of a lie in. Speaking of girls, do I even want to check? I have a reluctant sigh and peek through the curtains. Yep, tent. Campfire, and... <laughs> Overcooked meal catching a light as the pair scramble to put it out. That's about what I expected. <laughs> how, did, how are they eating that? I shut the curtains and ignore the fact that the entire garden is in danger from catching fire. 
I'm far too exhausted to worry about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Most likely. Eh. Crawling into bed, the distressed cries of two supposed professionals are the last thing I hear before I drift off into the world of dreams. My question is, how do his parents not notice any of this? How do they not notice any of this? How? Alright, I'm going to call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, wow, that was quite the episode. Basically, we just saw a lot of things. A, a lot of things. Monsters. Yeah, we saw a lot of monsters. Lots of those, yes. So... Thank you guys. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a donation link in the description. It helps me pay for these games and fund new ones. And I always appreciate when you guys donate. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.